<clears throat> All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say, call Lime Lai, Yahabba Shema, Shabba Shema, Kakadash. I want to give double honors to the Apostle G. Messu Guba and teach well. Shalom to all you brothers and sisters that's out there listening, pushing this truth, and waiting to go home. All right. <clears throat> so, the 12 tribes of Israel are Judah, so called Negroes, Benjamin, so called West Indian. Um, Levi, the Haitians, Simeon, the Dominicans, Zebulon is the Guatemalans, the Panamanians, uh, Ephraim is the Puerto Ricans, Cubans are the, the so called Cubans, are the, uh, the, the <coughs> excuse me, Manasseh is the so called Cubans, Gad is the North American Indians, Reuben is the Seminole Indians. Neptilia is the Argentina to Chileans. Asher is the Guatem is the Colombia to Uruguayans. And Ishikar is the Mexicans. Alright, um today I want to talk about what is judgment, you know, and what what uh are some examples of judgment. Alright. So this is Deuteronomy thirty one and twenty nine. This is uh Moses speaking to the elders. All right, of the 12 tribes of Israel and his officers and their officers. For I know that after my death, you will utterly corrupt yourselves, meaning you will turn to sin. You will turn from the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shem El Shai and turn aside from that which I have commanded you. He commanded the laws to Israel only. And evil will befall you in the latter days, and we are living in those latter days now. Uh, because ye will do evil in the sight of Yahweh Shemel Shai to provoke him to anger through the works of your hands. So through the works of our hands, you know, worshiping idols, um, defiling our temples, with smoking, obsessively drinking, obsessively eating, adultery, spiritual fornication, all right, and uh, <clears throat> physical fornication, all right. Um, we. And uh, you know a plethora of other, a plethora of other things, we um, <clears throat> you know provoke the Most High to anger, just as Moses said we would. All right. So let me see where did that uh, go? Where did it go? Where did it go? All right. Let me see. Let me just do this. Get the definition of judgment. All right, judgment: the ability to make considered decisions or come to a sensible conclusion. All right, here we go. Number two: a misfortune or calamity viewed as a divine punishment. Okay. All right, so you know the Lord has made His careful decisions, and He's considered you know the things that He will do and have He has done upon Israel, all right, and upon the world for um, mistreating his people. All right, so I'm going to the Zonervan uh, Bible Dictionary, and I'm going to go into some of the definition of judgment. <clears throat> this is on page 302. Judgment, referring in Bible sometimes the, to the pronouncing of a formal opinion or decision by man, by men but more often to a calamity regarded as sent by the Most High by way of punishment or a sentence of the Most High, Yahweh, as the judge of all. The history of Israel is the story of a succession of judgments upon enemies of the Most High's people, all right, so we are the most high people, okay? And um, upon his covenant nation, when they flaunted his will, day of Yahweh, a day of punishment for all the unjust, even those who boast of belonging to the people of the covenant. All right, so here we got some scriptures here that I want to go into. All right, Isaiah 
two and twelve. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah of hosts, shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up and shall be brought low, and he shall be brought low. So everybody that's lifted up, that's pride, that, that has pride or that is prideful about, you know, living in, you know, this, this, um, trying to see this well basically the world is got is forsaken by the most high okay his people is not forsaken though okay even though <clears throat> he turned his back on us for a little while because we kept transgressing all right and the world is forsaken okay <clears throat> um but you know everybody that's proud and lofty you know high and mighty they're going to be brought low because you have our shin outside all right he's going to bring them low with his judgment okay all right, and his judgments are not anything good, okay? They're nothing good, <laughs> all right? We're going to get into some of the judgments that uh, he did to Israel. He passed by on to Israel because uh, we kept transgressing, all right? This is how I'm going to get into... Uh, Amos 5 and um, 18. Therefore, you have my shin outside the power of hosts. Oh, that's 16. It's All right, Amos 5 and 18. Woe unto you that desire the day of your shin outside. So, what end is it for you? I mean, hey, what, what is it going to be for you? You know, uh, if you don't know who you are, if you're not trying to keep the law, state you commandments, or follow any of the instructions that. How about you know outside ready for you? Uh, <clears throat> what is the day of the Lord for you? You know, most people think that uh, they're going to be raptured up during, uh, or, you know, they're taught that they're going to be raptured up if you have faith and you believe and you uh, pray to some white Jesus, okay? You can be raptured up. And then, and most of them believe that everybody's going to be saved. But if everybody's going to be saved, he's going to be judged. And the day of the Lord is darkness and not light, okay? So that darkness means you're going to be violence coming and going around, all right? That means um, there's nothing going to be good going on for any man except for the 144,000, all right? The elect, okay? As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, all right? So you're going from one danger to another. Or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. You're going from one danger to another, man. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Even very dark and no brightness in it. All right, so that means the day of the Lord is not going to be pretty, man. All right? The day of the Lord is not going to be pretty. And that's the judgment that, you know, he's bringing upon Esau, even in the heathen nation, and the two-thirds of Israel, okay? All right? <clears throat> um, and there, there's no escaping that judgment, man. The only way that you're going to escape is if you're part of the elect, okay? Alright. <clears throat> Let's go into some of the judgments that uh, he passed on to Israel for, you know, uh, the, the, the curses, which is all the judgment for us being disobedient. It's in Deuteronomy. All right, and 15, all right, so, but it shall come to pass that thou will not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh Shemel Shai. All right, so now, and back then, you know, the Lord de dealt directly with Moses, okay? And then, um, after that, the Lord dealt, dealt with, dealt and passed his word through his prophets. And now, again, the Lord is passing his word through his prophets, okay? The individuals that you see out there on the street corners preaching the, the truth of the Bible, starting with the apostles of Great Millstone on down, okay? <clears throat> um, those, are, those, are, those are the individuals that have the voice of the Lord, okay? Because they were blessed with the knowledge to understand this, the Bible, okay? Um, 
to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I have commanded thee this day that all those all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee so I uh, in my study Bible it has down here um, three groups of punishments for disobedience are prescribed so internal calamities such as death despair disease and decline those are verses 26 20 through 46 and I'm just gonna get a couple of them all right so the Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart so you know what madness is is confusion man all right and this is that's Deuteronomy 28 and 28 Sabathia all right and what madness is is confusion man you out here uh, chasing behind your enemy worshiping your enemy worshiping the idols that your enemy uh, has made with his hands okay you're blind mentally and you can't see the things that uh <clears throat> the lord has you know caused your people to go through poverty um slavery uh idol worship okay um chasing after uh women that <laughs> these women they just they all polluted anyway okay just like america's polluted so are these women all right you blind you blind by the lust by, by your lust you know we all have you know things that we need to overcome i'm not perfect nobody's perfect but we're striving to be perfect okay and astonishment of heart okay let's see what that word astonishment means i don't even want to butcher it you know to my home okay all right stupefaction bewilderment man and you know what makes you stupid well, you know what makes you bewildered watching the damn television man they telling you what they want you to do they telling you what they, how they want you to live you know you watch you know these women they watch basketball wives and you know <clears throat> they out here you know with all this plastic surgery um, flaunting like they got money but they don't have anything man they just ruin their body they ruin their mind and they're ruining your children's mind okay all right so you're you're you've been you know played to with this with the with the 